Well, normally when people talk about Valentine's Day hearts, they talk about love, but today we're also going to be talking about heart health, which we all know is very important. I've got Dr. Garland Green with me this morning to talk a little bit more about keeping a healthy heart. And I know everybody wants to have a healthy heart, but they always ask how. So, so what, how do you do that? Well, first of all, you need to be proactive in taking control of your own health by understanding what health problems you have, whether that be hypertension or high cholesterol or maybe diabetes. And those things are all risk factors for the, for the development of heart disease. And we should make sure that we are very proactive in taking care of those issues if we do have them. So we hear a lot about diet and exercise. You mentioned all those problems. Based on your problem, does that, does that change your diet plan? Does it change your, your exercise at all? The answer is yes, um, it, yes and no. Basically for everybody, we want everyone to maintain a healthy diet, which means usually one low in carbohydrates, low in fat, high in protein. Um, but especially so for diabetics who definitely need to avoid those carbohydrates, which can make diabetic control very difficult. Also, exercise ex is extremely important for everybody. We recommend that everyone gets about 30 minutes of exercise at least five to six days a week. And you mentioned carbohydrates. Are, are there bad, it, people always say bad carbs, good carbs. You know, we look at pasta, bread. I mean, it, are there carbs that, because everyone needs to have carbohydrates in their, in their diet anyway. Right. So are there ones that they should take, ones to save for avoid? Right, you want to uh, uh, avoid the white carbs. Those are usually the worst ones, so the white breads and the white sugar, uh, the pasta. Um, you want to try to do more wheat, more complex carbohydrates in your diet, and those will usually be better, but you, you can also overdo a good thing. So that's why I always want folks to express caution when incorporating carbohydrates and try to do more high protein if you can. And real quick, just some of your favorite high-protein foods you think people should eat if they want to have a healthy heart? Well, what a good thing. Look, it's Valentine's Day. I know a lot of folks are going to go out and eat dinner tonight, and I tell you, you can go and have a steak. But if you're going to have a steak, have the finest steak out there. Get your filet. Get something like a New York strip. Very low uh, fat content. And accompany that with some asparagus or some type of vegetable to make sure that you don't get Perfect. high. Perfect. All right, thank you very much.